Hello Mum and Dad, happy Friday. This has been a good week. I mean, it's not the best week I've ever had, but I wasn't feeling particularly down at all. I was a bit ill at the beginning, some kind of fluey thing, that was a bitch. But I got over it. I've spent quite a bit of time with friends, which I've enjoyed. Um, went to Izzy's on Wednesday and did a little bit of drinking. Don't worry, I wasn't crawling home, it's fine. And I went yesterday to Izzy's for tea and then on to meet up with some other friends. Well, it was supposed to be for the Writers Guild, but didn't end up doing much with that and only one poem was read out. It was one of mine and I quite enjoyed it. And, well, it's that one I sent to you, Mum, to check beforehand. And I uploaded it on Tuesday, Wednesday, very recently. Something else that made me happy about yesterday was that this came. It's a package I ordered from Amazon and as with all Pratchett books I always write myself a little note on there but let me show it to you. Ah Crivens, didn't you kick yourself in the ain head? You've been knowing the sequence of the lettering and the tapping of the feet. I need to work on my Scottish accent. I'm very sorry to any Scottish people who may be watching. And as for it being a Pratchett book you might be quite surprised because as you know he's dead but inside whoops there's something that I've been wanting for a while although I suppose I didn't need it but I have an obsession and I end up buying anything with Pratchett's name on it it is this seriously funny the endlessly quotable Terry Pratchett as you might guess this is a collection of Sir Terry's quotes and it makes me very very happy so because today is Friday it is exactly 400 years to the day since Shakespeare died now, there's all sorts of celebrations all over the place and I thought I might chip in myself because why not? I'm a big fan of Shakespeare. Though, really, it's a bit odd how he, out of all the writers alive at the time, were so honoured. Now, I think his work deserves honouring, certainly. And there's a lot more of it than many people from that time, or at least more survived. But there are other plays that are just as good. I was going to do a tribute myself not perform a Shakespeare play because A there's only one of me and B uh, I'm not that good an actor <laughs> I figured because it's an anniversary of his death I might perform a piece about death you know maybe the to be or not to be section but to be honest I get bored of it I mean there's only so much even I can take of thinking about mortality which I do practically every day anyway because I have an obsession before I get really really down so instead, I'd go for one of my favourite quotes, which you're probably quite familiar of if you watch the opening ceremony, which you did, Mum and Dad, obviously. Um, I remember we were... Uh, did you watch it? Yeah. We were both in the living room and you went upstairs when it got to the flags, really, because it was very, very long. <laughs> no matter. It is Caliban's Dream, or the Be Not Afeard speech. It's very short, but I enjoy it. Be Not Afeard. The aisle is full of noises, sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that, if I then had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again. And then in dreaming, the clouds me thought showed riches ready to drop up upon me that when I waked I cried to dream again. It's nice, I like it. The Tempest is my favourite Shakespeare play, of course. It's about many things. Some would just see it as a story for the fun of it, and perhaps it was because his audience was not a group of literary critics at the time. But it's also a look at what it means to grow old, to know that you are facing death in the face and that you have to surrender to it one day. It's a great play, I love it. And even now my favourite performance of it is the film starring Helen Mirren because she's just an excellent actress. She makes anything she's in good. Now I look forward to seeing you over the weekend, either tomorrow or on Sunday. Let me know when it is so I can have things ready. Though expected to be a little bit messier than I might like because I've been keeping it tidy. But it was Jamie's turn to put the bins out. And he forgot. Which means there are three weeks worth of household waste and a week's worth of recycling and food waste as well. Fun! 
I'll feed it to him if he doesn't remember next time. Because the last time he did it, he remembered fine. So I figured, you know, it would be okay. I could give him the benefit of the doubt and let him do it. But no. I understand people are feeling bad and I really get that one. But you have to fulfill your responsibilities. If you're supposed to do something, you do it. Or you apologise in advance, not ask for forgiveness. Because then you've got a problem that you have to deal with. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with three weeks worth of rubbish. And then by the time they come to collect the next bin, six weeks. Fun! Anyway, I'm going to go now before I continue ranting. But I am quite looking forward to this weekend. I'll see you later. <laughs> Tatty bye.